is 20,000 sheets of paper and we will be making some insane origami. I will give five of my friends five hours to make the origami and best one wins five grand. Your time has started. Okay. Oh, no. In the last origami video, I spent like eight hours making 90% of people can't do this origami spider. I'm definitely not gonna do that again. I already know that I'm gonna make a smack. I shall only use the yellow and some green. I'm making a pineapple. It's I don't know how to fold origami I and I need some have. daddy motivation. Why? Excuse me? Ben makes me really uncomfortable with all of his daddy jokes, so I'm gonna leave now. First person to hand me an origami crane gets an advantage. Oh, no, oh the show's God. gonna end! Oh, oh, the hey, hey. last person to fold a crane also gets a punishment. Yes, yeah, did you just restart? Yes! Good job, Michelle. I'm gonna let her fold as many cranes as she wants. I'm done! But Mackenzie got this crane, it looks a little odd. What well, the let tutorials? It fly. So if Michelle fun. makes four cranes by the time the last person makes one, she gets to assign everyone topics. Wait, I did it! What? <laughs> Jake, you are done. Me? <laughs> oh! Ben, finish. Jazz, you did come in last. Michelle, how many cranes do you have? Four. So since Michelle has four cranes done, you can assign topics to four people, which is everyone. Give Jazz Yours a topic. Vegetables. Huh? Fluffy animals. <laughs> Give her a toilet. A toilet. Right. <laughs> okay. Michelle, what? No! Are you doing? I think you're amazing at making origami cranes, and it's Shut really up. impressive that you made four in the time that you know we finished one. Okay. <laughs> Yes! I can't do a dragon. No. Mackenzie, how are you gonna incorporate toilets into your origami piece? I'm gonna make a snake mask. I'm just gonna get a bunch of colored paper because I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna make some sort of like centipede dragon e type thing. Michelle gave me the topic of toilet. Now I hate Michelle. <laughs> I don't think the artists have even noticed me, but I'm in the corner right now, and they don't even know what's coming. We're gonna have a little challenge for them in just a second. It's gonna be pretty fun. Everyone, you have three minutes to fold a paper airplane. This I can do. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. No. All right, that is called a catwalk. I'm gonna have you guys go all the way up there and throw your paper airplanes. See who goes the furthest. Ben, you're up. Easy. <laughs> nope. Oh, no. So Ben's landed eh, approximately this far away from the starting point. <laughs> Whoa! What? Whoa! All right, Jazz. <laughs> oh! Hey, oh, no, right, not too bad, Jazz. You're in second. Mine G. Mine G. Mine G. Oh! Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> it looks like Michelle went negative distance. All right, Jake. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Mackenzie wins. Mackenzie! Yeah. yeah. I'll give you two options. So the first option, you can add anyone you want onto your team for 30 minutes. Option number two, you get to undo one of your punishments. Okay, I want that one. Mackenzie, you get one punishment immunity card. <gasps> Jake, you were second to first, which means you get one lap of lunges. For getting number three, you have two laps of lunges. Benjamin, you have three laps of lunges. Ben. And Michelle, you can get four laps of lunges. Four laps. Yep. Does anyone want to try for double or nothing? No, I did. I will. Jazz and Ben, you guys have an extra challenge. Michelle and Jake, you guys can get started. Here's how this is going to work. Jazz and Ben are going to play for double or nothing. If you guys make the basket like so. Kobe! Oh. You get zero. <laughs> However, if you miss, you'll have six, and Jazz, you'll have four laps. Oh. Kobe! I'm clutch. No. What did I say? Oh. What did I say? Let's see it, Jazz. Kobe! Oh. 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 Let's go! Shall we start here and then I guess we go to that tree? Do you see it in the middle of the yard? What? Down the I'm feeling a little bored, so for our next challenge, we're gonna do a dance off. Get in the corner. This is how it's gonna work. Mar, you're gonna be the judge of the dance competition oh and you're gonna rank it one, from one through five. Zach's making us all dance and it's really embarrassing. Stupid. Jess, you're first. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, not bad. I never want to do that again. If you subscribers comment to see that again, I'm going to be really disappointed in everyone. Hi, Mar. Time to rate them. Who do you think was the best other than me? Hmm. 
think I'm the most impressed with Ken's. She had the most rhythm. Kenzie got number one. Second place, I'll put give it to Ben. Ben had the most energy. Three, Munchie. Four is, sorry Jazz, it's Jake. Here's what's gonna happen. The party has not ended. You are gonna take the number you got, and that's how many minutes you have to dance for. Turn it up. Is this the Crafts channel? <laughs> Round of applause for everyone. Yeah. Wait, I'll do the punishments with you guys. Whoa! Whoa! Did, you guys did you guys hear that? Can we turn his hair teal again? Who wants to run a lap with me? I'll join you. Michelle, it's just us, nobody else. You're my true friend. It's the okay, game, Michelle, you got it. Ben, Jazz, Mackenzie, Jake, I hope they're at their table right now talking about how grateful they are. Oh, Michelle's a Sam. For friendship <laughs> and for your entertainment. that I'm about to make needs a SpongeBob. I'm connecting two boxes together. Sorry for keeping you guys in the dark for so long, but I put together a body. I have either, I'm gonna make this the neck or the tail, probably the neck. And I'm gonna eventually have to add the booger part. I've noticed that everyone looks a little bit tired. So, here's what we're gonna do. To the basketball hoop. <laughs> really need to work on. So we're gonna play a game of three versus three up until 11. Mackenzie! <laughs> Kobe! Oh, oh, go! Time out! You need to do something. Got it? No, I don't! Yeah, foul. Just gets through there. No one went through the rules with me! This challenge is great! Take this out on the court! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, pick it up. My head. Very nice piece, Ben. Do you want to tell me about your progress so far? Michelle gave me a toilet, so so far I've created a golden toilet. A royal flush, as you yes. say. Yes, I made this completely bendable snake so, body. I guess you guys didn't hear the introduction, but not only do you win 500, you also get dance party with me. Aww. I'm gonna be completely honest with you all. The things in here suck. No. So you're gonna choose one and you're gonna do whatever it says on the sheet of paper. Workout dice. Okay, that's not that bad. <laughs> borrow Mark. Mackenzie gets it. to borrow my bodyguard for the remainder of this challenge. R, 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 R. You just protect Mackenzie. Can I save my immunity star and use it in another video so we can reference this video? For content? For content. Wow. That is a good idea, yes. and I, I I do like content. Yes! So half of these were from suggestions in the comments, half of these were from you guys right here. <laughs> Michelle, are you ready? More <laughs> handcuffs. I'll handcuff you right after this. Are you serious? Stare at a piece of paper for 60 minutes. <laughs> Jess, are you ready? No. But yes. Drunk goggles! Ah! Oh no. Ben, come yeah, over here. There's plenty of paper over here. Huh? Jake, so whatever you roll, you have five minutes of. Come on, Bessie. Oh! Jake, you have five minutes worth of burpees. Once you stop, the timer stops. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Everyone, challenge is over. Woo! All right, Jess, tell me about your piece. This is my beautiful peacock, Trixie. I wanted to make a bigger piece and make it big and vibrant because last origami, I made a smaller piece even though it was really intricate. My topic was vegetables, thank you, Michelle. <laughs> so I added a huge carrot. That's her meal because she's a big girl. Good job, Jess. All right, Ben, tell me about your piece. I got the topic of fluffy animals and I made a fluffy orange dragon. Ta-da! Nothing about that is fluffy. Nothing. You see these white cotton balls? That's the fluff. 
Where are the arms and legs? These are yeah. fins and it has fur and it swims. If you look at the details, there's eyes. Oh, that's kind of cool. Very nice, Ben. Michelle, tell me about your origami. I did a pineapple. In the last origami, I did a panda. The stem is really cute. There's a lot of texture and... Is that Spongebob? Yeah. That's kind of cute. He, he has no feet, arms, <laughs> eyes, nose, mouth. <laughs> Alright, good job, Michelle. Mackenzie? Yes. Yeah. Tell me about your origami. Michelle gave me a toilet. So I made a golden toilet with a snake. You can go up, twists around, does the whole shebang. The toilet has this little box on the end. Does it yeah. flush? Yep. Good job, Mackenzie. This is my booger centipede dragon with a pink dotted patterning going down its thorax. We have some purple legs and also green boogers down the back. <laughs> I like this. Jake, I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you. Good job, Jake. Thank you. So we're gonna do judging a little different. You five decide how we're gonna judge this today. Instagram poll. We uh -huh. should have one person judge. Ben, is your dad subscribed? Who wants to see Ben's dad judge? <laughs> I'm scared. Or Ben's dad goes through and eliminates everything except for the top two and those go on an Instagram poll. Oh yeah, I like that. What's up? What's up, dad? Here's what's gonna happen. My artist here made pieces out of origami, so I'm gonna have you eliminate three of them. <laughs> what if you eliminate your own son, Ben? That's how the cookie crumbles. So I'm not gonna tell you who's is whose, you're just gonna see the pieces. So this is the first piece, a uh, fluffy dragon. A lot of bird ray, huh? Moving on, a pineapple and SpongeBob is on here. Next one, this is a toilet, and this is a snake that moves and goes in the toilet. For the final one, we have a um, half caterpillar, half dragon, and half boogers. Ooh. Which one is going out first? The snake coming out of the toilet. <laughs> 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 Which one are you eliminating next? The dragon. <laughs> you just eliminated your own son. So you, you're proud of me that I did a good job? Yeah. Who's eliminated next? That one. Greg! <laughs> well, Greg, say hello to your finalist. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you for judging, though. Love you. Michelle, Jess, good job. You two are officially in the finals. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Comment down below if you think I should have won. All right, guys, we have a winner with 69% of the votes. Drum roll! <laughs> Michelle! Oh, we drum rolled so hard that Jess is I bought 10,000 sheets of colored paper to make origami. We have six artists and 10,000 sheets of paper. You will all have six hours to make the best origami art piece. Winner wins up to five grand for a subscriber. Yeah. <laughs> and as usual, I'll toss in $500 to whoever wins this. Also, losers go in a slime bath. <laughs> you have six hours, go! At this time, I'm gonna color blue because it seems like most of the winners have been using the color blue to win. What? What does that even mean? Today, we're doing things a little different. You're gonna choose a random topic that your competitors came up with. Dinosaur! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon? Yeah. Yes. Zoo? All right. All right, Viv got a dragon, which means, Michelle, you have to make a robot. You can thank Izzy. The winner of the origami challenge can win up to $5,000 for their subscribers. So I'm going to be making a dragon. I don't know, a dragon seems pretty hot. Do you have any words of encouragement for me or anything? You should win. <laughs> <laughs> I have the okay. chance to win up to $5,000 for you. I'm currently making a robot dragon. Okay. Honestly, I don't know how to do that, but I'm going to try my best. <laughs> I have all my faith in you. Please Thank you. Win. I'm Jess. Nice to meet you. Have any advice on animals I should make? A frog? Ooh, a frog. That would be a good idea. The first person to fold a paper crane will get this. Anytime during this challenge, you are allowed to make one cut in someone's origami piece. <laughs> everyone ready? Go! Come on, everyone. Make that paper crane. Once you're done with your crane, lift it up in the air and I'll come check it. 
paper is not steady. Yeah, why is this paper like... Izzy has no idea what she's doing. I feel like this is a battle between Michelle and Viv. You guys are getting very close. Ooh, Mackenzie's finally getting somewhere. Great. What? Oh my goodness, Michelle! Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? This makes no sense. Michelle, this is Jake's piece of paper. Stop roasting me. <laughs> well, Michelle, this is for you to use. If you notice anyone's piece of art and you think they're gonna be one of your big competitors, you can go ahead, snip that entire thing in half. I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna go play some video games. What? Michelle's getting a little too confident. <laughs> Mackenzie, you've won a lot of crafts challenges, but if you keep going at this pace, it's not looking very good. This is a lot more frustrating than it looks, okay? <laughs> All right, Michelle, I see you're finally back from gaming. Everyone looks like they still haven't done anything. <laughs> it looks like some of you are still trying to get the hang of folding, so I'm gonna add two hours to the time. You guys get eight hours total. Artists, yes. fold a paper airplane. Everyone, come with me. Whichever one of you throws your paper airplane the farthest gets a huge advantage. Hopefully I set the bar high for everyone. Fire in the hole! Whee. No, no! Oh. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Not quite. Izzy, since you won the paper airplane competition, you can choose one of the artists and add them to your roster for 30 minutes. Which artist do you think can help you the most? Viv. Alright Viv, for the next 30 minutes, you're working for Izzy. It's good to work. All of you are gonna guess how many sheets of paper are made in the world a year. Ooh, two billion. Thirty trillion. A hundred fifty One Google. <laughs> okay. Four trillion. Fifty trillion. Alright. The answer is sixty trillion. Oh! Viv, wait right there. Make someone wear this for the rest of the challenge. You can let anyone wear this. <laughs> You're getting karma. Oh, oh, this is getting back at her boss. Right. <laughs> Izzy, you can't take this costume off until the end of the challenge. Wait, I can't take the mask. This, which was so hard, and it looks so stupid. So we're gonna don't even have place to start. So we're gonna play another little game. Each one of you guys are gonna crumple up one sheet of paper into a ball, and whoever throws it the farthest gets to choose whose piece of art gets dunked in water. Crumple up a sheet of paper and come upstairs. Oh! oh. No, I broke that. What? Whoa. Go, Jake. Alright Viv, since you won, here is a cup full of water. Alright Viv, grab that and bring it to the sink. Oh! You could set them outside to dry in the sun. Jazz adopted your dinosaur. This is a fortune teller. What's inside could be good or bad. Who wants to find out first? Me. Choose a number. Seven. You're all enormous here. P U R T L E. Zip! 100 push ups. 
you have to make someone do 50 push-ups. No! <laughs> you have to do 10 laps okay. around the house. You have 100 push-ups. B-L-U-E. One, two. You need to make 100 <laughs> shots. I don't wanna! All right, everyone, get to your tasks. They've chosen me to do 50 more push-ups. All right, let's do it. Spray someone's art. Jinx watering the plants. <laughs> Is this an aquatic creature without water? <laughs> yeah! You didn't, you didn't see that one. Okay, let's go. What's this? Honey, there's a few more to go. All right, I'm all done. You've got to be kidding me. I knew this was going to happen too. Hey, Mackenzie, you should search for Jake. He's hiding. No, I'll Come to me. Hey, hey because it's not on any electronics. No electronics. Jake, this isn't fair. Oh my oh, goodness. Shit. Oh my god, this is the shining. Ah! <laughs> Did I survive? <laughs> Oh, you attacked my penguin. penguin down. You said you wanted to use your scissors? Hey, it will cut through. Oh! oh! My spider's dead. Everyone, we are down to our last hour. So I'm adding some fire to my dragon because it felt a little empty. Six, five, four, three. Two, one, hands in the air. The challenge is officially over. Good job, everyone. <laughs> Izzy, tell me about your origami art. All right, so I got to do a dragon. Crazy, colorful, kind of Chinese New Year's dragon. Just personally, I probably would have liked the color scheme a little bit better if it was more of a pattern to it rather than random colors, but overall, good piece. I have a dino diorama. I do like the creativity with the dinosaur from the egg. Tape in the bottom of the trees kind of makes it look a little bit messy. So for seven hours, I made this super extreme, super crazy 99% of people can't do an origami spider. <laughs> Michelle chopped its legs off, so I had to improvise, and I made a giant crane attacking it. Why is there a random piece of red paper underneath? I did a little ice robot panda holding a little robot, and I gave him a little bamboo. But robots don't eat. Oh. <laughs> you took out its arm! <laughs> I made a big dragon, and I made two baby dragons. It's pretty similar to Izzy's, except for I feel like you have a color scheme here, which I do like. All right, Jazz, tell me about your zoo. These are all the zoo animals hanging out, having a little party. This is Ellie, this is Sparky, this is Thomas, that's Wanda. Is that Maverick? No. <laughs> we need to start eliminating them one at a time. Mackenzie. <laughs> all right, next person to go, unfortunately, Jake, <laughs> Michelle, they didn't yeah. make it. The next person that's getting eliminated is Jazz. <laughs> All right, and keep in mind, this is just my opinion, but the official winner is Viv. <laughs> we are about to spend the next eight hours making art out of cardboard. We have five artists and a ton of cardboard. You will each have eight hours to make the best cardboard art possible. Whoever has the best will win up to $5,000 per subscriber. And I have a little surprise for you. It's gonna come in one of the cardboard boxes. I'm not gonna say what it is yet. It's not because I don't know what it is yet. There could be 10 grand in the box. There could be a cricket. Does anyone have any questions? How do you make art out of cardboard? You cut and you glue. Which brings me to my next point. You have plenty of scissors, you have plenty of knives, you have tape, you have hot glue guns, you have everything you'll need. Eight hours starts now. I have no idea where to even begin, so I'm starting off by watching tutorials on the basics of how to make cardboard art. I'm looking up kind of like some pictures of masks and stuff. I really want to make a dragon mask. Um, Jake, do you think you could turn that down? I'm sorry, are you saying something? Um, can you turn that down, please? <laughs> also, losers have to sit in a box for 60 minutes. Izzy, I see you getting an early start. What's the plan here? I want to make some kind of dragon mask, 
so it would be like a, a mask that like goes over my Ooh, head. Ooh, that sounds cool. Yeah. Ben, why are you looking at cardboard memes? Ben, aside from looking at cardboard memes, what's your plan here? <laughs> it's what it looks like. I think I'm gonna make a cardboard robot. This is what I'm gonna make. Minus the baby. I think I'll make a violin. Cardboard violin? Yeah. I plan on doing a witch doctor robot or like a witch doctor creature type thing. Well, this time I plan on making a like a house. Mackenzie, and I understand your mom's gonna be coming later to watch you? Yes, my mom and So your parents are gonna be watching you competing live? Yes. Mackenzie, what do they see you lose? Then I'll be ashamed to the family name. Ladies and gentlemen, first person to cut out a star the size of my hand wins something. Go! Mackenzie, I, I don't think the star is going to be pretty enough compared to your competitors. This is not a star. You can say pretty! I think Michelle got it. All right, Michelle, take this trash can and put it over someone's head. They have to wear this for the entire challenge. Put it over the piece of trash. No, Michelle! Oh! Jake, I think that kind of backfired. <laughs> oh, Jake, you're so hot. Michelle just burned you! <laughs> Jake, you have to wear this for another seven and a half hours. Oh, Easy. I'm sure you win. I you. Okay, yay! So I'm gonna try my hardest to win for you. Okay, I think you have a good chance. Ladies and gentlemen, you will each be taking one of these. First person to assemble the box gets something. Done! All right, Mackenzie got it. Kenzie, that was pretty fast. Jake, you can stop assembling, you're already lost. Well, I guess you guys could say you're professional YouTube boxers. All right, Mackenzie, here's your advantage. You see these cereal boxes? You get to distribute these however you'd like. You can give none to someone, you can take them all for yourself, or you can evenly distribute them. You literally get to choose. Well, I'm gonna take these for me. Who wants cereal boxes? You can have a raisin brand cereal. Nobody wants a raisin brand. <laughs> you can pick five. Oh, because you didn't put the trash can on my head. <laughs> I'll take all the raisin bran. Izzy, do you want the fruity pebbles? Yeah! I'm feeling generous so nice. Mackenzie, you hate exercising, right? Yes. Well, luckily for you, you get to make them do it. Oh. Someone gets one minute of planks, someone gets two minutes of planks, someone gets three, someone gets four. Assign it. Jake's gonna get it done really fast regardless, so I'll just give him the one minute. Ben's also gonna get it done really fast, so he gets the two minutes. Izzy's moving really fast, so I'm gonna give her Four minutes, and Michelle, you get the three minutes. Thanks, Mackenzie. All right, everyone go do their planks. Jake, you do it with the trash can on. I'm finished. That was a neck workout as well, since I had to hold up this trash can. You have five minutes to make any kind of contraption you want. You're gonna be going to the second floor and throwing it off of there. Whoever gets the furthest wins. And whoever gets the shortest distance also gets something. You have five minutes. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, everyone, hands off. Bring your contraptions upstairs. Mackenzie, what did you make? I made a box. I made a cardboard airplane. I made a box. I made this triangle looking ben, thing. Ben, what is that? Yeah. I made like a ninja star. Mackenzie, go first. Oh, that wasn't bad. Oh. Mackenzie wins, Izzy loses. Everyone, meet me back downstairs. Izzy, have any idea what the losing punishment is? No. Jake, 
please give Izzy your trash can hat. <laughs> It probably smells like Jake and Red Bull burps. Mackenzie, for winning this challenge, you get a very, very unique advantage. This has never been done on our crafts channel before. You're gonna play everyone here in rock, paper, scissors. If you beat them, they have to help you out for 15 minutes. So theoretically, you could have all four of them on your team right now. And you can choose when they use those 15 minutes to help you. It can be right now, it can be later on in the challenge, but it needs to be everyone at once. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! No! Oh, rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh. Yes. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Well, Mackenzie, at any point during this competition, you can choose Ben and Jake to help out. Okay. Mackenzie, how's it going? It's going good. This is taking me a little bit longer than I thought. Jake, you have one really, really nice beak down, but that's it. See, they're getting down their basic structure, but I knew I wouldn't have fun if I was doing that, so I wanted to do the fun stuff first. This is taking a lot longer than I thought, and then I'm making sure every single detail of the violin is down to the teeth. I think I'm just gonna really try super hard because I really want Eliza to win. It's going well. I'm just covering it with spikes, and I'm gonna add little spikes. Hello. Oh. So Mackenzie is currently competing in a crafts challenge. Just curious, who do you think's in the lead right now? I'm impressed with Michelle, honestly. Yeah! <laughs> Izzy's is this cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna give the artists a challenge and you guys will come up with a punishment for them. What do you think? Slime while doing push-ups? Sure. All right, slime while doing push-ups it is. Josh and Lori, think of anything. I'm gonna have them make it out of cardboard. Ooh, Eiffel Tower. Okay, guys, you heard it. You have 10 minutes to make the best Eiffel Tower possible. Whoever has the best one gets to choose three people to slime and have them do push-ups. Go! Hey Ben, what's your strategy? I have none. Honestly, I should just start changing to get slime. Barely know what the Eiffel Tower looks like. I'm trying to build a 3D model of it. I think me and Pens are going for the same type of thing. Doing this. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's see it. Mackenzie, the Eiffel Tower does not look like this. Not too bad, at least you have the base down. Oh, Michelle, that's not too bad, actually. I kind of like it. Ben, what is this? Guys, comment down below if this looks like the Eiffel Tower. Very nice, Izzy. All right, I think Izzy's is the closest. Good job, Izzy. Who's gonna get slimed and do push-ups? Mackenzie. All right, who else is getting slimed and doing push-ups? Oh wait, actually, Ben's automatically in. I said the worst one is gonna get in. So Ben, you're automatically getting slimed and doing push-ups. All right, Michelle or Jake? Jake, I'm sorry, you have to get slime. Mackenzie, Jake, Ben, come with me. Guys, push-up position. You guys have these three buckets, they have 30 push-ups. You may start. Oh my I god! Oh no! What is that? Mackenzie, finish your push-ups. Keep going, Mackenzie. All right, guys, go get cleaned up. Is there any deep, dark secret about Mackenzie you would like to share? How about, like, the time that you were at a Catholic school and decided to... I already told them that, but you, I don't think oh, the viewers know. And you decided to poop on the playground slide. And we what? Got <laughs> oh, yeah. I Everyone, I'm thinking of a number from one through five. Everyone, close your eyes. Two. One. Four. Three. Five. The number was five. Well, Izzy, you're going to be boxing a box for 10 minutes. All right, come with me. Choose one of the boxes, and you're going to be punching it for 10 minutes straight. So this is Mackenzie. That was a pretty crazy challenge, but I feel like you guys managed to pull that off in eight hours. So let's start with you, Mackenzie. What do we have here? We have a haunted house, some windows, and some exposed brick, some shingles, door, broken, 
Not gonna lie, this turned out better than I thought. Halfway through, I was getting pretty nervous for you, but the bricks look quite nice. I like the windows, I like the broken pieces. I wish you had something in the garden. Well, I made an old style doctor mask. I have a little way of preparing it. Oh! oh. <laughs> Didn't even feel it fall off. I, I really like the details at the front. Jake, I like how you can wear it. I made a violin. I included the cute little thing at the top. A chin rest, built to scale. So this is the oh, actual wow. size of a violin. Is it functional? Um, uh, let's see. It looks nice. I wish the strings were longer. I made a robot neck and a little inspiration from Transformers. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Is that your Eiffel Tower? Yeah, no, look. It's a detachable <laughs> missile that had a smile. <laughs> so it can fly around. That's a big brain move right there. During a challenge, Ben was actually making the arm for his robot. I like the shape of your robot. You have a lot of nice details. So this is, it, it was a dragon, but I think it, it's more of a wolf now, maybe like a wolf dragon. So I covered it in spikes. It's kind of wearable. I used different cardboard for the nose, just to add a nice texture. Oh, yo! Oh, oh I'm sorry! You just ended Ben's robot. But yeah, so you can try it on. I'll demonstrate. Wait, me? Oh. Well, I'll demonstrate. I love window on this side, and then you got the coolest. That's kind of cool. It reminds me of those Chinese dragon things. Yeah! That you wear. Looks very cool, Izzy. You all did really well, but obviously we can only have one winner. So we're gonna have my subscribers choose. Everyone, close your eyes. Mackenzie, pick one. Jake. All right, everyone, take a look at it. If you have a red X, that means they're gonna go in a sudden death judging phase. I kept the red X last Jake and Michelle. I'm gonna message one of my subscribers and ask them which one they like better. I just asked Jacob which piece he liked better. Jake's piece or Michelle's piece? Come on, Jacob. Jacob, you have the same name. Jacob is typing. And the winner of this round, Jake. All right. Michelle, that means you are out. No. All right, everyone, close your eyes again. All right, who has the red X's? Oh, oh no. Ben versus Mackenzie. Sudden death round number two. I asked Cheesy Monkey 456 which piece they like better, Mackenzie or Ben's? And the winner for this round is Mackenzie. Ben, unfortunately, that means you're out. And then there was three. Look at your cards. Jake versus Mackenzie. And the winner for this round. Jake! Oh! <laughs> Good job, Jake. You're in the finale. Mackenzie, unfortunately, that means you embarrassed yourself in front of your parents. Josh and Lori, do you have anything to say to Mackenzie? You need more detail. <laughs> <laughs> Jake and Izzy, pick a card. So usually we would do a poll among like 10,000 people or we would do a best of three, but I kind of feel like doing a sudden death round. There's gonna be one decision only. Mr. Fluffers, which on, piece Fluffers. is your favorite? Mr. Fluffers is typing. Drum roll, please. And the winner of the annual cardboard challenge, Izzy! Okay, I thought I had a little bit more room. Well, Izzy, let's go play some games for the subscriber, and I have a little box to surprise you with. Okay! Everyone else, get in your box. Guys, we're losing. You have to spend the next 60 minutes sitting inside your boxes without talking. Time starts now. What is Mackenzie doing? This is how she sleeps. I think Jake said, oh wait, hey Zach. So that's... <laughs> Kick? You wanna kick Zach? Kick your nuts? <gasps> he kicked your nuts? I was trying to kick his butt. <laughs> <laughs>